Well, Energy Nest is a Norwegian startup, so to speak. We are five years old. Um, we started with an idea for solving one of the most urgent problems in the world at the moment, which is actually large-scale energy storage. So it started with an idea, and by help of, uh, let's say, private investors, we have been, over the last four or five years, been able to develop this technology to a stage where it's now ready to be launched in the market as a commercial product. Well, the, the Heatcrete is a unique product, and this is a product that we have developed together with Heidelberg Cement in Germany. So we have had a very good collaboration. The reason why it's called Heatcrete, and I, I guess I co coined that term, is that it's not normal concrete. Concrete is for construction, right? And uh, Heatcrete is for heat purposes. So it's a really unique formula. Uh, which makes it so much more valuable uh, when it comes to storing uh, heat uh, as an energy form. So if you compare with normal concrete, you know, the storage would probably look twice as large as is the case with our heat crate. Well, the storage itself is extremely robust. You know, it is a matter of um, steel pipes, heat exchangers being cast into to concrete. So, you know, the heat transfer fluid, which could be oil or it could be pressurized water steam, is actually cast into concrete. So that in itself is very, very safe. Mm -hmm. But of course, around the system, there are pumps and valves and all that. But that is, of course, designed according to international safety codes. So we have no concern about that. But if you ask specifically about the safety of the storage, I, I would say it's uniquely safe. Well, the idea was really to use concrete. Um, and. And why concrete? That is because it's so easily available, it's environmentally friendly, you know, and, um, and it's not difficult to build anything using concrete on a very large scale. But of course, um, we have over these uh, four or five years been doing a lot of research, specifically on the material together with Heidelberg Cement. But of course, there are very many aspects to this technology that goes beyond the concrete itself. That's the whole design. How do we handle thermal stresses? How do we make sure that the concrete doesn't crack and fall apart? How do we reinforce this? All of this is, let's say, a smart design. 